What's up everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to install the MTX Road Thunder Soundbar Plus. We're going to be installing this on a motorcycle, but since this is a universal item, installation procedure may vary. First you'll want to remove the seat for routing the wires, and be sure to disconnect the battery to prevent any mishaps. Begin by roughly laying out the wires to ensure that you have adequate length and to determine where you want to hide the wires. Put the wire harness in place but don't secure anything yet. Exactly where you run the harness is up to you, just be sure that the wire harness will not be pinched or melted once it is fully installed. Decide where you want to mount the soundbar, in this case we're going to mount it hanging from the handlebar on this motorcycle. Next, pre-install the soundbar clamps and then determine where you want the mounting clamps to go on the machine. Included with the Rode Thunder Soundbar Plus are five sets of clamps ranging from 7 eighths of an inch to 1 and a half inches. Use the appropriate size mounting clamps for your application. In this case, we're using the 1 inch clamps for these handlebars. We recommend utilizing the supplied transparent film to install the mounting clamps without damaging the mounting surface. Remove the film after the clamp is installed. Loosely install all of the mounting hardware. If you're installing the Soundbar Plus on something that moves, like these handlebars, Make sure that you have the full range of motion and that the soundbar doesn't interfere with anything nearby. Make final adjustments and fully install the hardware. The Soundbar Plus is a directional speaker, so ensure it's aimed toward the rider before completing installation. If fine tuning is needed, simply loosen the speaker clamp bolt and rotate the soundbar accordingly. There are four wires within the wire harness. The red wire goes to the battery positive, the black wire goes to the battery negative, the orange wire is connected to an accessory or switch powered wire, and the blue wire is for additional amplifiers which we will not be using in this application. Determine the switch power wire you want to use and install the provided T-tap onto that wire. Plug in the orange wire to the T-tap you just installed. Next, route the red and black wire to your battery and connect the black to the negative terminal and the red to the positive terminal. Test the soundbar by turning it on to make sure it works before completing the install. After you have ensured everything works properly, go ahead and do the final routing of the wire harness and secure it with the provided zip ties. Once again, make sure that the wire harness is routed so that it will not be pinched or melted. For more information on the Road Thunder Soundbar Plus and all of our audio products, visit curryaken.com or reach out to our tech team with any questions.